that for You don't have a hernia, sir. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for the... Welcome back to our stupid reactions. It's Corbin. Ricardo, how you doing? Follow us on Instagram and Twitter and titilize us there. And the girls on Patreon. Juicy. Follow our official Twitter account. Ring the bell to be part of the notification squad. <laughs> Bang! And if you ring the bell, juicy content comes out. It's, uh, it's coming through my roof right now. There you go. Today, uh, I think this uh, new trailer just came out when I think it came out yesterday, I believe. Um, but it's a net, new Netflix series, I believe. Yeah. yeah. Wait a minute. You mean to tell me Netflix is now doing TV series? That's nuts. Yep. Uh, and it's called Betal. Betal. Right? Okay. And it's with. Sure. Say those names. I don't recognize a lot of them except for the last names. Vinit Kumar, Ahana Kumra, yeah. Suchitra Pele. And apparently it's trending in India. Cool. Cool. Just like your mom. Uh, oh, you want to read the thing right below it? Um, I, I do. Let me, uh, let me just scroll and mosey on down. Uh, all right, here we go. Whoa. Okay, yeah, good. Okay. Evil is eternal. <laughs> from, a maker, from the makers of Get Out? Oh, wow. Jeez. Okay. Jordan Peele? Uh, so Jordan Peele's involved, I guess? <laughs> if he's not, uh, who's involved? Uh, from the makers of Get Out, Insidious, Bard of Blood, and Ghoul comes another boundary-pushing and genre-elevating horror series. While on a mission to displace the natives of Kampa Forest in order to build a highway, Siroy and his squad unwittingly unleash the curse of Batal, the mountain that wrecks havoc on the people and threatens to end civilization as we know it. Oh, oh okay. Let me see. I'm trying it's to... a series? Who are the makers? I don't see Jordan Peele's name, so maybe it's a different producer of um, Get Out. Or it's a different Get Out. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Uh, you guys have to let us know, because uh, Jordan Peele's the only maker of a... Uh... No, no. I know. Same best boy. What? And Gaffer. The same best boy and Gaffer. Oh, those gotcha. the, That were on the team for get out so all right three two one go reminds me of tone bad hey my team is problem ko fix karne mein zyada waqt nahi lagayegi that guy was from sacred games disturbed area ko sanitize Hey, Sabo Rogi last dinner. Poker cup, hoj me samil hui. Kiski fold. Oh, I like this. You have maybe waited. You may need to come. Martin and Kendall. Oh, whoa. Hello. 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 Don't do it. <laughs> Watch out, Are we a zombie? Colonel's army has played you. And in his words, he will kill you. Betal, don't kill him! Don't kill him! So is it like the undead British? 
because they were in oh, red, no. they were they were in red coats, right? Or was I seeing that? I, maybe you were seeing that. I hold don't on, know. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. No, those are definitely British dead British soldiers. Yeah, they're they have the full British hats and the strap alongside with red coats. Like like colonial period American Revolution. Yeah. That's huh. interesting. Interesting. <laughs> Looked great. They lost the American Revolution. They're back and they're pissed. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That it looked it looked great. Uh <laughs> it looks it looks really good, really scary. As you know, for me, I hope it doesn't go into the realm of the demonic. I don't mind monsters. I don't mind ghouls in the invisible realm and stuff. But if it starts to get into the occult, I'm out. Uh, <laughs> but I'm very, I'm very interested. Yeah, no, it, it looked like almost like Tombad if Tombad involved military as well a little bit. Like in terms of stylistic wise a little bit. Yeah, it did stylistically. It did. It also gave me slight vibes because I, I couldn't. You know, obviously, you're trying to figure out what's going on, uh -huh. and the only frame of reference I had for it was: is this kind of like a, uh, a Walking Dead meets Invasion of the Body Snatchers, or what is this? I mean, which is a good thing. It's making me want to know what this is. What this is. Mm. Uh, so yeah, this is. I'm interested. Yeah, it looks really, really good. A remote village becomes uh, the arena for breathless battle. Oh, okay. They, so there's a there's a synopsis on IMDb here. Ready? A remote village yeah. becomes the arena for a breathless battle when the undead East India Company offers oh. offer uh, officer and his battalion of zombie redcoats. See, I was right. Uh, attack right. a squad of modern day soldiers. Dang. So it's like modern day soldiers versus undead um, British. I mean, one's going to have the advantage uh, weapon wise uh, for sure, but also the other is true. undead. So that. Yeah, it's true. It's, how do you kill something that's already dead unless what you have is dragon glass? Because then. I wonder if it's almost like uh, Pirates of the Caribbean when uh, you know the the pirates were undead and they attacked the uh, the ship. Uh, yeah, yeah. From under it, I wonder if it's uh, going to be a little bit like that. But if in terms of a Netflix series, I love that TV shows are getting so good and so like there's so much money being put into television being to make it yeah. as as good if not better sometimes than film. Uh, yeah, and it and it's a place for really for a lot of Indian content, which is why I know, you know, we both, both Nawaz and Anurag Kashyap said to us that they like doing not just TV series, but they particularly like doing work with Netflix because you've got the freedom to not only in Nawaz's position be a character for a long period of time, but from Anurag's position, I mean, that's a man who wants to be uncensored and Netflix just lets you go. Yeah, because they don't have to deal with the censor board of India. Nope. Uh, nope. Anybody can watch it, which is great in my opinion. Yep. I'm, I'm Me sorry. too. I'm sorry if you guys like censor boards, but I think censor boards are the dumbest thing I've ever heard of. Uh, <laughs> you can't censor art, so stop it. Anyways, <laughs> that's not what this video is about. Um, but uh, yeah, the uh, it looks really, really. I saw one guy, uh, Sartosh's yeah. friend, right? Yes. That's who um, it was. Yes, you're absolutely right. Because the minute you said who it was, I was absolutely in agreement but still engrossed in what we were watching i really this is i want to see this yeah this looks really really good um let's see if there's anybody else that we know uh do do do, do vicky don or somebody from vicky donner's in there is his name i think that's him i can't say his name though anyways yeah well let us know what else we should know oh is this blumhouse yeah is that that's, why i was just gonna that's say why. that's why and they get the they get the right to say that Gotcha. Okay, yep. so it's got Blum, it. That makes sense. Blumhouse Productions actually does really good horror stuff. They've been they're the great stuff. They're the ones that have had the they're kind of like a twenty four of horror. Right. Uh, yeah. They well just said. Make currently, the best horror of anybody. Um, yep. Which is which is nice because that genre needed a makeover many years back. 
um, <laughs> from being just a, a stupid genre. Um, but anyways, let us know what we missed down below. Let us know if you are interested in this series and of the people that we know, because the only person that we know was the guy from Sacred Games. Um, so we don't know about the yeah. lead actors acting. So you're going to have to let us know down below. Our stupid reactions. Tune in for